Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Pittsburgh Current podcast live from local on the south side. We're here for our election night uh, watch party along with our friends at the Incline. It's a big night tonight. We, we all know this. It's uh, a referendum on uh, what's his face, the president, and there's a referendum on hate and tolerance or a referendum on not having tolerance, really. We've got our staff here with us. We've got staff writer Haley Frederick is here. She's working on our live blog. We have our visual editor here, uh, Jake Mislivchik, and Jake is going to keep us up to date with uh, our, our, our state-of-the-art graphics. In fact, we are going to go right now to one of these graphics. Um, CNN is, produ- is predicting that John Fetterman, that Tom Wolf is the new governor, <laughs> or will remain governor of Pennsylvania. John Fetterman will be the new, uh, like in wrestling, the new lieutenant governor of the state of Pennsylvania. And I think you can tell which is which. They're pretty good. But we've got the whole team standing by. We've got some uh, great graphics coming your way, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We've got a lot of great people here, too, that we're going to talk to. Um, We'll talk about a couple of races to start off. Um, Very early on, um, the statewide races, the Senate race, between uh, Bob Casey and uh, Lou Barletta. Uh, Casey is comfortably ahead there. And now we have a very small percentage of, of precincts reporting. Um, and it's the same in uh, same with the governor's race. But where I'm watching, and I'm going to make my first live prediction of the evening. Or, I'm sorry, my first bold prediction of this evening. Of course, they'll, they'll all be live. Uh, I've had some boots on the ground today in Butler County. Um, and... Daniel Smith Jr. entered into the race against Daryl Medcalf for the 12th District uh, State House seat. Very much an underdog. Uh, very short uh, background. Uh, Daryl Medcalf is 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 evil. He's not a nice person. Um, he's uh, we all know he's he's he he blocks legislation from getting to the House floor. He's homophobic. At the very best, he's a white uh, nationalist. He's not a big, he's, a, he's very anti, he's anti-immigration. His opponent decided to run, his opponent's name is Daniel Smith Jr. And Daniel Smith Jr. is an openly gay Democrat in Butler County. And there was a lot of talk about how this was going to uh, probably not be much of a challenge for Metcalf. Um, but Daniel Smith Jr. didn't go up against Daryl Metcalf on the gay issue or the immigration issue. What he did is he went door to door, talked to Republicans. Daniel Smith made this a local a race, a local issue on local issues. And if you ask any sort of public official in uh, that area of Butler County, Daryl Metcalf doesn't do well bringing home taxpayer dollars. So that's how he went at it. What my sources in Butler County are telling me is that uh, voter turnout today in 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 more progressive but populated districts were up almost 60 percent over uh over tw- over the 20 over 20 over 2016 there are a lot of people coming out to vote typically that doesn't always bode well for the republican i'm sorry for the incumbent so we'll have to see how that holds out but i am making a bold prediction that if daniel smith does not i think daniel smith has a very good shot of unseating daryl Metcalf. i think um Cheers will come up from all uh, across the state and uh, we'll all join in a chorus of Alleluia. Um, It will be uh, one of the big races to watch tonight. We're also watching Emily Skopoff taking on the current uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Mike Terzai, in a race that we're watching. And in the state uh, state Senate race, very much uh, worth uh, checking out and we'll be keeping tabs on. Uh, Lindsey Williams is taking on... Uh, Jeremy Schaefer, Republican Jeremy Schaefer. Um, that race got really dirty in the uh, in the last few weeks of that of the contest. Um, so we'll be talking about that. We'll be tracking results. We'll be checking back in from time to time to give you results. We got a lot of guests coming up. Um, if you have nothing to do and you're in the area, or if you're doing something that sucks, come on down to local at 15th and Carson, uh, second floor, and. Uh, Have a drink, have some food, and let's uh, watch the elections together.